Now that we have our IP address for our CMC, we're going to go to a desktop on the same subnet and we're going to type it into a web browser. In this case it was 0 0.40. We'll continue. Right now it's still default like any other remote access controller, so root, Kelvin. And just like on the display on the front, this shows us in here, we're much nicer, what's going on with the enclosure. Our system health, so we'll see they're all in green. What's really kind of cool about these is you can actually individually select your blades. You can see their status and a quick link if we want to power them on. Telling us that the operation was successful. And now that that blade is green, showing that it's on. We can also deploy the iDRAC for that particular blade from here. As well as change any of the settings to get into it. So right now this is telling me the iDRAC IP address for that blade. As well as slot 2 through 16 since I have 16 blades installed. Some of the other great features of this unit is even though you may have all six power supplies installed, is it doesn't use it. It throttles it down. You can also set up budgeting for it. So if you're limited on power, you can set your max capacity or etc. however you need to set that up. Our CMC status, since we have two, showing us full redundancy and good health. And there's one other thing on the enclosure itself that I want to show you from firmware and that's the IKVM.